Okay. You want to talk to it? Wait for the street to clear before. Yeah, I do. But I don't want an unsafe situation for him. No, I'm just telling you what I see. So you got uh, volunteers for this too? What's happening? When you say volunteers, what do you mean? Like you're here with the police department or do you yes, work for the police department? You work for the police department? Do you agree with them violating everybody's Fourth Amendment? That's not bad. I mean, what are, among the drunk drivers, they held here tonight. They could kill somebody down the street, man. They could? Yes. If a drunk person hit somebody what they're, down What the they're doing is worse, though. No. Violating the Fourth Amendment is treason. Huh? Treason against How the some, state. How does it violation? It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Yeah, what the, In order understand. to search these cars, they need to get a judge to sign a specific warrant for that car and the person that drives it. Yeah, they can't yeah. pull you over with unwarranted search. They are checking the drivers. They can't. The Fourth Amendment says you cannot do that, I period. Know. Read it. Have you read the Fourth Amendment? Sure, I read it. What does it say? What, what we're doing here is what we're doing right. That's not what the Fourth Amendment says. It right. says you can't search we will seize without a warrant. We'll continue to do it. Yeah, that means you committed treason. That means you should be put under arrest, tried for treason. Even their volunteers and the, the civilian workers believe they're actually doing something right. Yeah, I wanted to know if you guys if you guys had the uh, the judge's signature paper on hand on site. I'm sorry, sir. What? The the warrant the judge approves for you to have a checkpoint under your RSA and the state law. You have to have it on site. Do you have that? No, sir, I don't. You don't, so you're violating your own law. You understand you have to have one on site, right? No, sir, I don't understand. Okay. What's that? Is there anything else I can do for you? No. Well, we'll clear that up with your AG's office tomorrow. I'm glad you're violating your own law, though. That means that every single one of these people can sue you. Man, I served this country for 20 years. You should be ashamed of yourself. What's that? Yeah. You can thank me better by following your oath. So, uh, he admitted under, uh, Ohio RSA, they're supposed to have the warrant from the from the Superior Court to, yeah. for them to have the checkpoint. He doesn't have one in hand and they didn't even get one. Nice. So they're violating the law. So every single one of these people here, their Fourth Amendment rights being violated because there's no warrant for this. This is an illegal... Is it, this is something that's done every, every weekend. It's a, it's a legal sobriety check, so... They're illegal in the first place with or without a court order. So Monday morning, I'm going to file a complaint and a criminal charge against every single cop here with the AG's office. Just like I did in New York. Yeah, U.S. court really cares what you guys do, you know. But I understand that you're under orders to do this. It's not particularly you. You don't think shining flashlights in people's cars is an invasion of privacy at all? They're all violating the fourth. They don't even have a superior court judge's order to have the checkpoint. They're supposed to clear it with the superior court, finalized by the state's attorney's office, and a copy of it sent to the AG's office. And they did not do that. There's checks and balances. They did not follow no, any we of have, them. Yeah, the illusion of checks and balances. <laughs> they didn't follow any of them. 
So I'm gonna file a 91A request, finding out every single person they stopped here, and every drunk guy here's case is gonna get thrown out because of it. That's <laughs> what happens when someone with a law degree steps on your scene. Oh, they, they, they have wedding. civilian workers too that actually oh, no, totally believe what they're doing. I was telling her that he can barely speak here. English. There's a guy over here, you know, in a ball cap and a, and a yellow vest. I was like, that's the one I want to find out his opinion. Said, we, he can we know sp there. barely speaks English, but he, he believes that the violation of the Fourth well, Amendment isn't happening. He barely speaks English. But see, what, what they're <laughs> supposed to, under their own RSA, the state law. This is it in Ohio? Yeah. Oh. Ohio State, Ohio State it. law, to do a sobriety test, they need to get a judge's signature from the Superior Court to even have yeah, it. Yeah, I heard what you said. Number one. Yeah, and Number two. File that with yeah, and then they need to file a copy with the AG's office. And they didn't do it. So every Are single, you every yeah, arrest here, you get thrown up. Like yeah, you just file a 91A request and you find out every stop here. This is what you pay for. Look, look, he doesn't even know the law, he has to Google it. Really? What are you, what are you he's asking? Googling the law, I just quoted him. Look, he's looking it up right now because he has no clue what the law is. Don't consent to any searches. Don't consent to any searches. One car forward and left, like, oh, probable cause, I bet they think. They don't even have a fucking judge's order to be here. Under under Ohio State law, they need one. They don't have one. This is what happens whenever government happens. <laughs> well, now they're dealing with Centurion. Trust me, there ain't no cop here that's dealt with anybody like me before. Or Dio. Oh, there he goes, stealing someone's property. Flatbed on a flatbed. Hey, Joe. Flatbed on a flatbed. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Private, private money. They were making money selling impounded cars. They never this is what we drove 300 miles for. They never filed the paperwork for it, never put it in the state system, da da da. Turn around, auctioning off people's cars, oh, you know, like and putting a, the money in their pocket. <laughs> well, um, in Sacramento, on the boulevard, the main strip there, yeah. they have storefronts lying on the side of the highway. Right. Well, we have documents of every police officer's car here with the numbers. So that guy's all fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god. It does. It, you know, I served 20 years in the military. I made a vow to protect the Constitution foreign and domestic, and I'm trying to protect it domestically. And you have police officers violating their own law. They don't even have the warrant signed by the Superior Court on site like they're supposed to. They don't, they didn't even got one. Never mind forgetting it and not bringing it here. They never went to the Superior Court and got one. But hey, if someone has it, you can just sign off and mark the fake page. Why don't you get on that phone, Sarge, and look up the Fourth Amendment and read it? <laughs> you lifted that hand up, right? I swear to uphold the U.S. Constitution, foreign and domestic. Number four says you can't be doing this.
Every single one of you should be ashamed of yourself. They're all cowards. They are. No, they're bullies. They're cowards and bullies. No, bull bullies try to make themselves an authority figure. They're following orders, so that makes them cowards because they should have stuck up for it to begin with. weak-minded people. Just be like, nope. I'm not violating the people's rights. Here's my badge. Hey, show, show them your badge. See if you can write them a ticket. Oh, I wish I had one. Oh, I wait, wish Gil, I had those Gil's things. Gil's got a shiny badge. Go ahead and write them I got mine right here. Oh, you got a shiny badge. You're like, hey, man, uh, it's well, you're going to be legal. Uh, I need to take down to the... No. Oh, I got my IDs and stuff in it. Oh, those are my like, you know, right there. Right down the fucking road, right down there. I almost got the 420 one and I'm not even into weed. <laughs> I wanted the 419 one because that's my area. These guys are fucking cowards, dude. Every single one of them, man. They're not, they're working cowards. What they do in their free time and blah, blah, blah. Reading the fourth, Saj? Reading the fourth? It's probably a little bit. Who's this cop? Look up Centurion. Look up Boston PD versus Glick. I'm just saying, who the fuck is he chasing? Boston PD versus Glick. How the fuck did this guy pass a PT test? That's what I just was saying, dude. Hey, who the fuck is he chasing? It's probably a death guy just getting I'm some just, overtime. Just, no, I just told her, I was like, please tell me he got shot or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's just coming off medical. That guy never got shot. <laughs> he tell me he, he never missed a meal. guy should be on Come disability on. for having too many donuts. That motherfucker never missed a meal in his day. <laughs> 80-year-old fucking troll off. Come on. Saj, 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 your, co your officer wants you. Saj, your officer wants you. That's what happens when you ignore people.